today's video, we're gonna be swatching Pat McGrath's Lip Trance Lipsticks. So this is the newest one that I saw on Sephora. It's the Guilty Pleasures Mini Lip Trio. I have swatched these in the past before and I was very satisfied with the formula and everything. So um, we're gonna try them out again today and then I will be doing a wear test so that you guys can see how they perform and for us to find out if they're actually staying consistent with their formula. These are the shades, Executive Realness, a Velvety Potent Plum, Elson 2, which is the Cult Classic Rouge, and Soft Core, which is a Sublime Satin Pink. So they come in legendary hues and extravagantly encased in gold bar and pink packaging. They do look very expensive, darling. Without any further ado, let's jump into the swatches. And this is exactly how I remember these being. They are so, they feel so luxurious on the lips. And look at the consistency they are across the board. This is the color that you're actually getting. So this is the shade Executive Realness and it's that beautiful plum color, great for uh, fall and winter. I think it's a shade that will complement a lot of skin tones. I really do like this color. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are liking this shade. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful fiery orange. I do believe I have this shade already and I love it. I do not have a lot of orange hued lipsticks, but this one is so beautiful. Look at that color. Look at how rich it is. I love everything about this shade. I just, ah. Uh, I have no words and when I have no words then we just have to move on to the other shade but you guys give me a thumbs up if you think this is a beautiful shade give me a thumbs up I want to know the Sun is out so bright this morning it's kind of blinding me <laughs> So uh, this is the last shade and this is called Soft Core. Almost like a baby pink shade. Baby pink or powder pink. I don't even know what's the difference between those two. But anyways, I'm trying to say that it's a soft pink color and that's why it's called Soft Core as well. So what do you guys think? Yeah, it's just a very muted pink color, which I think is great for those of us who don't like a bold or too pigmented lipstick. This is a great shade to sport. And let's look at the consistency of this shade, which I think it's there if the sun would get out my way. Ugh. I love the sun, but not like this. It's, yeah. So I have to like scoot to the side so you guys can see the actual color of the lipstick or else the sun's gonna like, yeah, wash it out. So this is the shade that I will be wearing for the rest of the day. I have to be out and I will be wearing a mask as well. So we are going to find out how it stands up against a mask being on it all day. <laughs> And if it can survive a mask, trust me, it can survive anything. So I'm excited for that part of the day when I do a reveal. So let's do a time check real quick. All right, so right now it is 10.27, so 10.30 in the morning. And then um, I want to do a check-in 
probably around six. I want to keep it as typical as what my day usually is so that you guys can get a true result of how these lipsticks perform. So I don't change anything. I don't change the way I eat. I don't change the way I drink or anything like that. I go all in. It's just a regular day for me. Nothing's gonna change. I promise the sun will not be in my face anymore. <laughs> it's kind of distracting right now. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back later to check in with you guys and hopefully we have uh great results so i'll uh, see you guys later hey guys so i am back with the final review for the pat mcgrath lip trio so these are the three that i swatched this morning so the shades were executive realness then we have Elson 2 and the one that I am wearing is called Soft Pour, which is a more pinky shade. So this is what it looked like when I first swatched it and this is what it's looking like now. So let's do a quick time check and see where we're at. So it is 5.49 p.m. So almost six and I I swatched it at 10 30 I believe this morning so it's almost eight hours which is typically the range that I like to go with lipsticks to test them out so when I first applied these they were more of a velvety creamy matte formula which feels absolutely comfortable uh, swatched beautifully and you can still see that there's lipstick on my lips after eight hours of wear time. And keep in mind that I also wore my mask and you can see that the lipstick is stained inside the mask. And I did not reapply this lipstick whatsoever. I had lunch, I what did I have for lunch? I had a sandwich for lunch and I had a cookie for dessert and I drank water and tea this morning. So I am super duper impressed that you can still see the lipstick on my lips. Of course, it's not as pigmented as when I first wore it this morning. Most naturally, it's gonna wear off throughout the day, but it didn't wear as much and I've worn lipsticks before where you can barely see that I had the lipstick on or you can only see the lipstick around the perimeter of my lips, which is usually the last place that a lipstick will be removed from. So when I first put this on this morning, I did notice that they tend to transfer because it's not fully dry. So it's still a little bit more on the creamier side so it did transfer a little bit on my teeth, but not a lot. So that's just something you have to look out for. And as we progressed throughout the day, um, that creamy velvety feel went away and it started to feel a lot more drying. And that's the only thing, like right now, my lips feel very dry. If I rub my lips together very lightly, I can feel tiny little dry crumblings of the lipstick. So the longer you wear it, the more drying it gets and it starts to, to seep into the, the small lines on your lips. So that's another thing that you have to look out for. So if you already suffer from drying lips, I highly advise that you wear a lip balm under this lipstick or you can even wear it on top. So just a regular clear lip balm would work just fine and then you can you know, apply it throughout the day so you don't get that discomfort of dry lips. But apart from that, the longevity of this lipstick is, is really insane because like I said, I had the mask on and I did all my regular activities, nothing changed. And 
I am still able to see lipstick on my lips. So I am very impressed by that. So if you're looking to get into these lipsticks, I would definitely recommend that you get them. They're $25 on Sephora for the trio set. And I think you will really uh, enjoy these lipsticks because once you put these on for the day, they last and you would not have to reapply them. You just have to be very cautious about how drying it gets so that your lipstick doesn't get unattractive. So you just want to pay attention to that and put some lip balm on and you will be great for the day. But that's all I got for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification because how else are you going to know when I post a video? It really does help my channel and I want to continue to provide more content like this for you guys. So I'm genuinely grateful for you guys' support and I look forward to continuing to do more lipstick swatches like this. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!